We've got the bull turd all left over. None of this is new. None of this is new. This is you, this is old, this butter I've had for a while. Cheese I've had for a while. Bread I've had for a while. Ketchup I've had for a while. Wine I've already opened. We've got all kinds of things happening. I hope I've done this right. It's hard to say at this moment. Okay, okay. I'm in my kitchen. We're about to make grilled cheese sandwiches. And I'm just gonna make, I'm gonna make one. You can make one at home. I think the first step, cause actually uh, my griddle is, uh, yeah, that's right. I'm making this thing on a fucking griddle. Uh, my griddle is popping off. It's uh, nice and hot and toasty. So I think uh, the first thing to do, just to calm the nerves down a little bit, is uh, I'm gonna pour the rest of my wine that I opened a couple nights ago. And if you've got juice, or uh, water or a nice glass of oat milk. And uh, I'm gonna pour this bad boy in here. Into my goblet. Yep, that's right, I have a goblet. And uh, here's the fun fact about the goblet. My uh, parents either claim this to be a tradition or basically wanted to start it as a, tra as a tradition that upon my 21st birthday, the color's going real weird, I can see it happening. Upon, my t upon the 21st birthday in the Middle Ditch home, you get a stein. However, I don't really drink that much beer, so they gave me a fucking personalized fucking goblet that has like medieval dragons and like uh, warriors of old. That says, oh, you can't really read it. It's not picking up the engraving, but that does say Tombini Warrior 21. I wasn't joking. My name is a, as a teen, Tombini Warrior, Tombini, Instagram, the brand, taking 2020 by storm. It's boiling hot. So, um, <laughs> the, the weird thing is, um, I volunteered to do this. Uh, you guys said, hey, that would be cool. I said, yeah, that would be. And now we're making grilled cheese. Okay, here we go. First step, ASMR. Oh, that's cheddar. It's Tillamook, uh, it's Tillamook sharp cheddar. So if you're following along, you know, you get your knife, you get your cutting board, and you get your cheese. We're gonna make some slices. And don't worry, you know what? This is difficult when you're on your knees. And I'm, oh God, I'm gonna stand up for this. Okay. We're making some slices on the cheddar. And again, if we need more, don't worry, we got the block right here. Here, so, now I don't know, I don't know about you. I don't know about you, but I like a hearty bread. That's why, for my bread choice, I've selected Ezekiel four ratio nine. <laughs> four to nine ratio. Sesame seed flavor. Uh, because, you know, it's a nice, thick, it's, nutri it's nutrient-dense, you see. All right, I hope my butter is uh, de-thawed de de a little bit, because uh, I keep it in the fridge. Let's see, do I have butter? Kind of. We'll see if it's spreadable, because you know sometimes you get, uh, oh golly, <laughs> sometimes you get, uh, yeah, see the butter right out of the out of the fridge, and uh, it just mangles up your bread. Yeah, I'm using the big knife to spread the butter. That's because I don't want to do more dishwashing than I have to. See, all of this is very tactical. Okay, so then you butter. Remember, you're buttering the outside. Oh man, that's so much cheese. It's insane. <laughs> Yo, this. The amount of cheese is insane. All right. Yeah, this is going great. All right. So now uh, you're spreading the butter here. Oh, crap. Oh, no. Oh, yeah, that's tearing this bread apart. So I kind of got to like slice it all weird. Here we go. Let's cook this bad boy. Now, here's the thing. 
If you've put If you've put a lot of cheese on it, like I have a lot of cheese, get my actual human hair out of there. If you put a lot of cheese on it, you may want to do this. You may want to take a little cover here. Okay, just to make sure that the cheese melts at the appropriate rate. Because if it doesn't, then you could get crisped bread, you see, and not melted cheese. Like the, the cheese will still be in solid form. We want it melted. Okay, I just want to make sure that it's not overcooking. All right. Oh my God. Okay, so what's happened is <laughs> we're at a good ratio of crisp, but the cheese is not fully melted, so the flip is going to be very, very difficult. Oh man, boy, you can, you know, the cheese, I put so much cheese on this, that maybe I overdid it with the cheese, because, uh, having a hard time uh, melting <laughs> oh boy well we'll see oh look at it it's starting to happen it has started to melt this is exquisite oh man and it's getting on the it's getting on the sides and grilling so you're gonna get a couple crispy bits this is turning out incredible oh my god it's almost ready oh my god Look at this. So you scrape it up, right? You scrape it, scrape, 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 okay, cause, then, cause then look what happens. You get little bits, cheese grimbles. And you can chew it. Cheese grimbles. All right. I'm calling it, it's done. It's done, kiddo. Relax, you did it. Look at it, cheese crumble. Right here. Hot, but you can do it. All right, so uh, griddle's off. Now I gotta figure this out. I gotta bring it back. Oh, man. Okay, Jesus, I'm spitting up cheese crumbles. It goes right back in the mouth because I'm a freak. All right, here we go. This is the most important part of the whole process. It's the whole reason we're doing this. Because this cut right here makes it the Middle Ditch brand grilled cheese sandwich. You do corner to corner, okay? Here's the thing, before I actually cut it, I'm gonna explain it. I'm gonna fucking get to you on this. Corner to corner, all right? And then again, corner to corner. What are you doing? What are you doing? You're making four triangles. It's very important that you know that you're making four triangles. Corner to corner. That's a great cut. And again. Yes. You take your plate. This is also very important. If you want to know how I do it, this is very important. Then you put that shit on the plate. All right, then what you do is you pull the corners to the rim of the plate. So what have you got? You've got a kind of like, we're all pointing pointing to the center business. And if you wanna eat it like big boy Tommy, this is what you gotta do. You gotta take the ketchup. Shake her up now, all right? Mix it up. And then you take it open and you pop it down. Blop, right in the middle, right in the middle. Very important. Don't be shy. You're gonna get to all of that. You may even do a little bit more. Get that in there. Get this in there. That's it, that's the shot. Cinematography. You've got your triangle, right? You dip the cut side, the exposed side. Boopity boop boop. See how it's got ketchup on it? You do the other side. A boopity bop boop. All right, now you have a slice 
that's ready to be eaten. And you do it in three bites. Any more, you're a traitor. Any less, you belong in prison. One. The middle bite. It's a great bite. Then you do the left bite. Mmm. That's when you get a bit of crust. And then you take the final bite. Mmm. That's it. That's how you make, cook, and most importantly, most importantly, eat grilled cheese.